Did you know there's a place called the Mel's Hole in Washington State that has puzzled scientists and locals for years? They say it's so deep, no one's ever reached the bottom, and people there talk about its weird powers, saying it might heal or even bring the dead back. Whether it's true or just made up, Mel's Hole keeps grabbing our attention and making us wonder, what lies at the bottom? Before we dive into the video, hit the like button and write more in the comments, as this platform is not a fan of these kinds of videos. Now let's get started. Our story begins on Mel Waters' property in Manistash Ridge, west of Ellensburg, Washington. Now Mel had something pretty unusual on his land, a hole that looked like a well but wasn't quite right. For years, Mel and his neighbors had been using this hole as a trash dump. They'd throw in all sorts of stuff, garbage, broken appliances, old tires, you name it. But here's where things get weird. No matter how much junk they tossed in, the hole never seemed to fill up. As time went on, Mel started noticing other strange things about the hole. His dogs wouldn't go anywhere near it. When he brought a radio close by, it would pick up bizarre signals. And perhaps most unsettling of all, the hole appeared to have no bottom. Mel's curiosity about this mysterious pit on his property soon turned into a full-blown obsession. He became determined to figure out just what was going on with this seemingly bottomless hole. We can imagine Mel's excitement and confusion as he set out to measure the depth of the hole using his fishing gear. He tied a one-pound weight to his fishing line and lowered it into the hole. The line went down and down and down till 4,500 feet, the entire length of his fishing reel, and still no bottom. But Mel wasn't about to give up. He kept adding more spools of line, each one 5,000 feet long. Can you believe it? By the time he ran out of line, he had lowered it over 15 miles into the earth and still hadn't hit bottom. Now let's talk about some of the weird stuff Mel noticed happening around the hole. It wasn't just about its seemingly endless depth. Mel observed that his dogs refused to go near it. When he asked his neighbors, they reported the same thing with their pets. But here's where it gets bizarre. One of Mel's neighbors told him a story that would make anyone's hair stand on end. Apparently, this neighbor had a dog that died, so he decided to dispose of it by throwing it down the hole. A few days later, he swears he saw that same dog running through the woods near his property. It was wearing the same collar and everything, but it didn't respond to its name and acted like it didn't know its owner at all. By this point, Mel needed help figuring out what on earth this hole could be. So in 1997, he turned to the one place where people might take his strange story seriously, Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell. For those who don't know, Coast to Coast was a late night radio show that covered all things strange and mysterious. It had a massive following with around 10 million listeners tuning in from all over the world. If anyone could help Mel get to the bottom of this mystery, it was Art Bell and his audience. On February 21st, 1997, Mel's story hit the airwaves. For several shows, he revealed more and more details about the mysterious hole on his property. The good news was that Mel started getting advice from people all around the world. Listeners suggested using lasers or radar to measure the hole's depth. But there was a downside to all this publicity. Now, millions of people knew about the hole, and from the clues Mel gave on air, you could get a pretty good idea of where it was located. Here's where the story takes a turn that sounds like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. The day after Mel's first radio appearance, he returned to his property only to find the entrance blocked. According to Mel, the U.S. military had somehow gotten wind of the hole and decided they wanted it all to themselves. Mel claimed he saw helicopter activity around his property and was eventually confronted by armed military personnel. They told him there had been a plane crash on his land, but Mel saw no evidence of this. No smoke, no fire, no remains. When he tried to argue, Mel says a man in civilian clothes told him the land wasn't necessarily his anymore and threatened to find a drug lab on the property if Mel didn't leave. Before we continue, if you're curious about the secrets hidden beneath New York and London, you must see our video on that topic. Okay, now let's go back to our main video. 
As Mel continued to share his story on Coast to Coast, the claims got even wilder. He said that a neighbor had seen a dark beam coming out of the hole and up through the clouds, darker than anything he'd ever seen before. While Mel admitted he hadn't witnessed this himself, it sparked several theories from Art Bell's listeners. Some callers suggested the hole might be sitting on a ley line, creating a portal to another dimension. Others thought it might be a gateway through time, explaining why everything thrown into it disappeared. There were even theories about it being an entrance to a hollow earth or some kind of subway for lizard-like people. And just when the story couldn't get any stranger, Mel suddenly vanished. He was scheduled to reappear on Art Bell's show but was a no-show and wasn't picking up his phone. It would be three years before anyone heard from him again. When Mel finally resurfaced, he had an incredible story to tell. He claimed he'd been offered $3 million a year to lease his property to an unnamed party. And the plot twist in the story? He had to sign a non-disclosure agreement, leave the country immediately, and never come back. Mel said he took the deal and lived in Australia for two years. But the story doesn't end there. Mel claimed that when he tried to return to the US for a visit, things went sideways. He said he blacked out on a bus trip and woke up 12 days later in San Francisco, missing his back teeth and with needle marks on his arm. When he tried to access his property again, he found it had been dramatically altered with new construction he hadn't authorized. Just when you think this story couldn't get any weirder, Mel came back on coast to coast with a new twist later. He claimed that a Native American tribe had contacted him about another bottomless hole, this time in Nevada. According to Mel, this second hole was also just over nine feet wide, but instead of a stone retaining wall, it had a metal collar and lining. Mel said the hole was warm to the touch and seemed to absorb sound. He claimed that if you dropped something on the metal collar, it made no noise at all. Mel went on to describe a series of bizarre experiments conducted at this second hole. He talked about lowering buckets of ice into the hole, only to have them come back up and transform into a salt-like substance that would burn for months without melting. He even told a disturbing story about lowering a sheep into the hole, only to have it return dead with a strange, fetal seal creature inside it. After sharing these incredible stories, Mel promised to return to coast to coast with evidence, recordings, photos, and videos of his experiences. But he never showed up for that final appearance. His phone line was eventually disconnected, and Mel Waters was never heard from again. So what are we to make of all this? Is there any truth to Mel's incredible claims? Or was it all an elaborate hoax? Let's look at what we can verify about this wild tale. First, the location of the hole. While satellite imagery did show a blacked out area in Washington state around the time Mel first told his story, this area has since become visible again on Google Earth. Despite years of searching, no one has ever found a hole matching Mel's description. As for Mel himself, there's no record of Mel or Melvin Waters living in the area at the time. Some have suggested he might have used a pseudonym to protect his identity, which is certainly possible. One thing that raises eyebrows is the lack of physical evidence. Throughout his appearances on Coast to Coast, Mel never provided any photographs or recordings to back up his claims. He always had an excuse. Cameras didn't work near the hole, or he forgot to take pictures, or he had evidence, but it wasn't handy at that moment. From a scientific standpoint, a hole as deep as Mel described simply isn't possible. The pressure and heat at those depths would cause any such shaft to collapse in on itself. Unless, of course, we're dealing with some kind of interdimensional portal, but that's a whole different story. Despite the lack of evidence, Mel's story has captured the imagination of many people. Even today, decades later, some believe in the existence of Mel's hole and continue to search for it. So why does this story continue to fascinate people after all these years? Well, it's got all the elements of a great mystery, unexplained phenomena, government conspiracies, and hints of the paranormal. It taps into our curiosity about the unknown and our suspicion that there might be more to our world than meets the eye. Whether you believe Mel's story or not, it's undeniably entertaining. It's the kind of tale that makes you wonder, what if?
Even if it's not true, it's fun to imagine a world where such mysteries could exist. In the end, the story of Mel's Hole remains just that, a story. There's no concrete evidence to support Mel's claims and plenty of reasons to be skeptical, but that doesn't mean it's not worth telling or thinking about. Stories like this remember us to keep an open mind and to question what we think we know about the world around us. They encourage us to explore, to investigate, and to wonder. And in a world that can sometimes feel a bit too explained and mapped out, a little mystery can be a wonderful thing. So, the next time you're out in the wilderness of Washington State, keep an eye out. You never know. You might just stumble upon a hole that goes down forever. Just don't throw anything in it, okay? You never know where it might end up. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Make sure to watch our other video, Did the Anunnaki Create Black People? We really hope you enjoyed today's video. Take care and goodbye.